Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who don't know me, I am Tando and today I am back with another video. <laughs> Today's video is going to be an assumptions tag and before I get into the video guys can I just say this girly over here is sitting on a hundred subscribers we did it Joe we did it this morning when I woke up I was sitting on 97 and I was like, oh my God, how great would it be if I actually shot this video and I'm sitting on a hundred subscribers. As the morning went by, I was really anxious to see whether I would get to a hundred or not. And I kept on refreshing my YouTube studio. I just wanted to see, did I get there? Am I there? How many more do I need? And before I bathed, I checked and I was sitting on 99 and I was just so nervous. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. It's almost shooting time and I'm sitting on 99. Will I make it to 100 or not? And guess what? As I'm sitting here right now, I refreshed my YouTube studio and I was sitting on 100 subscribers. So yes, guys, we did it, Joe. We did it. We are on 100 subscribers and I am extremely grateful. I'd like to thank you guys because it's only possible because of you guys. It's literally only possible because of you guys. I wouldn't have gotten to 100 subscribers by myself there was absolutely no way it's your support for me on whatsapp i remember when i first started i was sitting on 17 subscribers before i had uploaded any video yes i was sitting on 17 and my aim was 20 subscribers that's that's where i had aimed for my first video because i literally thought that my progress was going to be slow that's where i was at that's where my mindset was at 20 subscribers per video that I post. And the next thing I was sitting on 42 subscribers. Can I tell you these numbers are still so clear in my head because every single time I check my subscribers, I would go to WhatsApp and I would post on WhatsApp. And thank God for the type of friends that I have. They celebrated with me every step of the way. I would go from 79 subscribers to 80 subscribers and they would celebrate as if I got a million subscribers, okay? And I am extremely grateful for that. I thank you guys so much for your support. I thank you for subscribing. I thank you for sharing my videos on Facebook, on Instagram. I thank you a lot. I really 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 appreciate it and i wish i could show you guys just how much i appreciate it we did it joe we did it joe 100 subscribers may not seem like it's a lot but for me it's a lot especially for me because i started my youtube channel 13 days ago okay 13 days ago i started this youtube channel i didn't think that i would be here in such a little in such a short space of time but here we are tomorrow it's two weeks and you know what i'm great the only thing i can just say to anyone who wants to start a youtube channel is just that just start i promise you there will always be somebody who's there waiting someone who's there guys all it takes is just one person to believe in you Look at me speaking like I have a million subscribers, but that's okay because I'm practicing for the day when I actually get to a million subscribers. Anyway, yes, 100 is not a lot, but for me, it's a lot. Considering everything it took for me to get here. 100 subscribers is a lot, and the only way we can go from here is up. We did it, Joe. It's you guys, and I'd like to thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Getting into today's video is an assumptions tag. I had asked my Instagram followers if they had any assumptions about me. The reason being why I decided that I should shoot this video is that I realized my get to know me video, my intro, the very first video I posted, you know, as I was done shooting that video, I was very happy with what I had done. But then I realized that I didn't answer anything about me. And I did not want to do a get to know me tag again. I was just like, let me just go ask my Instagram followers if they had any assumptions about me. And they did. I got quite a few. I was shocked 
okay i was shocked and yes i browsed through those questions because i wanted to know what i was working with this is my first time shooting such a video so i wanted to be prepared and i wanted to be ready but nothing could ever prepare me for the type of assumptions that i got nothing nothing could have ever prepared me for those kind of assumptions about me guys do you really 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 believe that i am that girl but anyway, it's okay. Let's just get into the assumptions. The first assumption says, I thought you were mean when I first met you, but you proved me wrong. And thank God that I proved you wrong because guys, mean, I'm not a mean person. I am not a mean person. I actually think I am quite approachable. I'm not mean, okay? If I were to rate myself in terms of being mean, I would give myself a tool because I am not mean. The only time maybe I might be mean is if you had done something to me. But then again, I am quite forgiving. So I am not a mean person. And thank God that I got the chance to actually prove myself to you. Because I'm not mean, guys. I'm not mean. I will never be mean. I will never wake up being mean. Alright. The next assumption says, you don't know Sutu. And why it's again? Not just Siva Sisutu. I, it's your audacity for me to think that I don't know Sisutu. <laughs> okay, guys, no, I'm just joking. I don't know Sisutu to a level where I can confidently say I know Sisutu. I don't know if I'm actually making sense, but I know Sisutu just not well enough for me to be like, yes, I know Sisutu. I can hear it if I need to hear it. Let's say when you are gossiping about me, <laughs> I will hear you. And I will be sure of what I heard. And I will be able to repeat what I heard. Okay? So I can hear Sisutu when necessary. And I can speak it a little bit. I'm just not confident. And every now and then, I actually do go on Google Translate. Just to be sure that what I think is what I think. You know? That's not English. But I do go to, what I'm trying to say is that I do go to Google Translate and I do translate where I need to, like, just be sure that what I think is correct is correct, you know? I don't know if I'm making sense. Right again, give away too much. See, I know Sisutu to a certain extent, guys. And that's okay. It can get me somewhere. I don't know if I'm making sense. I don't know if I'm making sense. I don't know if I'm making and that's that. Um, next assumption says you're an extrovert. And that's on per, that's on period, that's on Mary had a little lamb. I am an extrovert. Ish. An extrovert ish. I think it depends on who you are, where we're at, the setting that we're at. But I believe that I am an extrovert. I do talk a lot. I am very friendly. I'm very out there. But then again, I'm also able to read the room. I don't know if I use that correctly as well. I'll read the room. But I'm 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 able to be in a setting and read everybody and then decide if I'm going to be an introvert or an extrovert. But if I were to choose between being an extrovert and an introvert, I would definitely choose being an extrovert because I really do believe that I'm out there. Guys, when I just talk, I'm friendly and, and that's me. I think that's me. Yeah. And then this assumption says you're daddy's girl. And that is true. That is absolutely true, guys. My dad made it easy for me to be a daddy's girl. <laughs> My dad made it easy for me to be a daddy's girl. I am a daddy's girl. I am not ashamed of being a daddy's girl. I am not embarrassed, guys. I will never be embarrassed. I am a daddy's girl. At my very big age, I am a daddy's girl. And and, and that's okay, guys. <laughs> that is okay. If my dad watched this, he would probably laugh because he is so sure that I am a mommy's girl. But no, I am fully a daddy's girl and that's it <laughs> next assumption says you love your friends and i do i have little friends but i love them so much and i am like 
growing up expressing my love for other people just felt so awkward but now i am able to exp like express my love for my friends i love my friends so much guys even you guys that i don't know i love you so much because we are all friends guys we are all friends now i love my friends i will forever love my friends i will forever support my friends and i'm glad that not only am i giving that love but I am also receiving that love for my friends. And I am extremely grateful because yo, guys, Lana Pantley, I didn't have a gun. But I can brag about them. All day, every day. <laughs> yo, Angsa Papi. You know, I'm going to subscribe as I am right now. I am Papi's. The next assumption says you are a needs freak. And that is 100% incorrect. I am not a need freak. I will never be a need freak. And I will never wake up a need freak, guys. Mina Aniko needs. And can I tell you, it pisses my mom off so much. It angers my mom. My mom hates my bedroom. My mom hates my bathroom. Um, I am not a need freak. I don't think I'll ever be a need freak reason being i grew up with a helper and yes having a helper doesn't mean you must be untidy but i'm just saying i'm trying to explain that having a helper growing up i never did anything for myself i never had any chores okay our helper comes from monday to friday growing up i never had any chores I didn't cook. I didn't wash dishes. Okay. Our helper did that for us. And in the evening, my mom would do those type of chores. So I never grew up in a setting way. I had to work. And now I'm, 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 I'm grown. I'm older. I need to start doing those things for myself. Our helper only cleans my room on a Monday and on a Friday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I need to make sure that my room is clean. And on weekends, and I really try. Can I tell you, my problem is that when I take off clothes, I want to throw them there in a heap, in a, in a, in a pile, or whatever you want to call it, okay? And it pisses my mom off. Okay, my mom just shakes when she walks into my room. I'm able to take off my clothes and put them on one side of the bed and sleep. Okay, I'm that type of a girl. So I am not a neat freak and I don't think I will ever be a neat freak. Maybe as I get older, as I become a mom, a wife, maybe I will get into that role. But right now, I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. Am I ashamed? Maybe, you know, because Into Mazana may be clean, guys. Also, let me not say Into Mazana may be clean because that implies I am dirty and I am not dirty, okay? I am not dirty, but I'm also not a neat freak. I am not a neat freak. And yeah, that's that. It's okay. Mundo Kulumara cool. Because that friend said, I don't know si suit. So now I feel this thing to prove with the Iman. suit me. This one says, Yo, Bengik Saba, when I met you, I thought Uguti one mistake was on Nisa Hood. You have that appeal, J. And that is very, very sad. Why would you think that about me? Yini. Uh, guys, kind and I don't know why people thought that about me because I barely thought. Only thing I did was talk, 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 and laugh. So I don't know why you would have that kind of an assumption. It is so wrong. It is so wrong. And I wonder, let me just read it again. I thought to go to one mistake, you have that appeal, Jay. So does that mean your idea or your assumption about me has changed? Because you are speaking in past tense. So that means at some point you did realize what you mean. I'm not, I'm not me. And I'm not me. I can't fight, child. Why would I do that? I can't fight. Why would I be that type of girl when I can't fight? But anyway, it feels like you are speaking in past tense. So, uh, yeah. I'm not me. Mm -mm. There's no reason for you to be scared. There's no reason for you to be scared of me. 
Okay, and then this assumption says, I think you're really laid back. Nothing matters as long as you are happy. <laughs> you know what, me? With as long as you're happy, guys. I will never interpret as long as you're happy in a good way. I will never because as long as you're happy means but it's okay girl as long as we do happy you know i don't know if you get me but those are the type of vibes i get with as long as you're happy but on the being laid back part that is also a lie guys meaning papa i'm not laid back if i gave you that idea i am sorry i am not the girl i will never be that girl and i will never wake up being that girl because meaning your papa your papa and in kulu and and that's that your papa i am not laid back that assumption is wrong and i wish it was true because that guys mean your papa to me your papa to me i wish that assumption assumption was true but it's not true you know what i'm sorry it's not true <laughs> and the same person said i am mean and not easily accessible again wrong <laughs> You are so wrong. You are typically wrong because I am not mean. And I am easily accessible. I feel like I am approachable. I don't know why I keep on getting this assumption, guys. Maybe I don't know myself. Because I really don't think I'm not approachable. I really don't think I'm not approachable. I really, 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 truly believe that I am approachable. So if somebody says I'm not easily accessible, guys, I am. If you send me a message on social media, I will reply. If you come to me live, I will be happy. I will probably read you as a person, but I am easily accessible, guys. assumptions Why would you have the type of an assumption, Nami? <gasps> That is so bad. I don't know who needs to change, me or you. Because, hmm. But that's a topic for another day. The next assumption says, you are friendly. And that is true. Thank God. Hallelujah, guys. Because when I'm friendly, why would you think I'm not friendly? Guys, I've been getting you are mean, you are mean. And I'm just like, I'm not even that mean. Like, what have I done for you to think that I am mean, guys? Because especially on social media, I really be posting for laughs. What would make you think that I am mean? I am not mean. So this one person, she said, I am friendly and that is true. I am extremely friendly. And I wish that everyone who said I am mean gets a chance to be with me and actually realize that I am not mean. I'm extremely friendly. So this assumption is correct. I am friendly. The next assumption says, you love, love money. I didn't have any other assumption. And that is true, guys. Even my dad always complains about how much I love money, guys. I think I ask my dad money at least once a week. And then we are Pashim. He will complain, but he will still give me the money. So yes, I definitely, definitely, 100% love money. That's me. Okay? That's me. Uh, I used to think you were a mean girl. Guys, guys, I will scream if I get this assumption one more time. I will scream. But I'm glad that you're also speaking in the past tense because you thought, meaning that assumption is in the past tense, okay? Because I am not mean. I'm saying it for the millionth time i am not me you know what fight me i think it's time for you guys to fight me why would you i'm gonna have a breakdown right now because why would you think i'm mean i am not mean i will never be mean and i will never wake up mean guys i'm very friendly 
and i'm glad that so far all these assumptions are speaking about how they thought so that for me means that okay you thought but you're wrong because i am not a mean girl okay okay and this assumption says you don't drink alcohol and that is true true to a certain extent i don't drink alcohol if i were to compare myself with my friends then mina ang pussy guys i am however trying to get into drinking alcohol um for various reasons they are all not bad reasons but i am trying to get into drinking alcohol i'll have maybe like one bottle or one can of cider and that's about it okay but if i were to choose i would say that i am not somebody who drinks alcohol okay i'm not even an occasional drinker because i'll only have one beer one cider or one whatever you know just one and then i'll be done for a couple of weeks so mm, i'm not somebody who drinks but i am somebody who drinks the next assumption says you are a cheese girl from a rich humble family and child that is a wrong that is so wrong i don't know what impression i gave you to think that i am from a rich family i wish 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 i was from a rich family i 100 wish because then i wouldn't be the broke girl that i am right now mm, no guys i'm not from a rich family and i am not from a poor family either um we're just middle class in this house we're we're middle class and that's that am i a cheese girl maybe it depends on how you meet me do you meet me when i'm with my wretched friends or do you meet me when i'm with my cheesy friends and also it depends on how you greet me when we meet are you gonna give me a cheesy greeting like hey girl or you're gonna give me a ratchet greeting like sure yeah, well it depends it, it it definitely depends but if i were to choose then yeah i am cheesy maybe depends my night depends depends i'm not choosing depends um this assumption says you've got a good heart uh and that is true i am saying it's true because i've had several friends tell me that tando you have a good heart so this is not correct because of what i think this is correct because of what my friends have said to me that i have a good heart so yes i have a good heart <laughs> i have a good heart <laughs> and this assumption says i am a nerd and that is false mina ned mina how how am i a nerd there's no way i can be a nerd i wish i was a nerd i wish i was a nerd because but i yo i'm not a nerd oh my god i was failing through and through and then um this assumption says you are easily approachable and thank god guys we're making progress from all those you are mean you are mean you're not easily accessible at being excited guys somebody assumed that i am easily approachable and that is true guys that is 100 percent true i am easily approachable i believe i am so thank you for assuming this about me because you nailed it that's on per that's on mary had a little lamb okay i am easily accessible i think so this person says you don't give a fuck and <laughs> i do i do and this person wrote it as djaf and you know what i hmm. my twitter handle is tando djaf tando don't give a fuck and i got that long long ago so this guy wrote it like that so i have a feeling that he got it from my twitter but that is wrong because i do give a fuck guys i do i will always 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 give a fuck so that twitter handle is a lie but it's very hard for me to change it because i believe in it so much i it's very hard for me to change my twitter handle 
because I feel like that's who I'm known as. That's how I'm known as. Whatever English says is correct, but the, yeah. Yeah. Yimi Utano don't give a fuck on Twitter, but in the streets and in real life, I actually do give a fuck, guys. Not even gonna lie, not even gonna cap, okay? This person says, you're a fucking gem, and I just want to say thank you. You're the fucking bomb. You're just as great. Okay, we are both gems, and that's on period. Uh, this person says, I don't have much, but you are fine. And thank you so much. You're also fine. <laughs> you are also fine. And thank you a lot. That really means something to me. This assumption says, you are a rich kid. And you know what? Let me just manifest. I manifest it in the name of Jesus Christ. My family will be rich because, guys, Ekaya Asiko rich. We are enough. We are enough. I don't know if that makes sense. We are enough. We don't lack. But we are also not rich, guys. Because once we are rich, guys, that means you are not enough. You are more than enough. I am not a rich kid. But I will wake up a rich kid, guys. I will wake up a rich kid. I speak it into existence because this is the second time I am getting this assumption. So that means being a rich kid is meant for me. Yeah. It's meant for me. Ha! <laughs> this associate says you love with bank men. <laughs> that is wrong. How dare you assume that about me? <laughs> that is wrong. You are wrong. How dare you say that about me? I don't love with pink men. I love men. That's it. Full stop. Not men from Middleburg. Not men from Whitbank. Not men from Secunda. No, I just love men. And and and, and that's that. <laughs> How dare you? Oh my god. This person said I am mean. And you know what? I'm not addressing this. I said I was going to scream if I got this one more time, but I'm not going to scream. I'm just going to leave you like that. You have absolutely no reason to say I am mean. Okay? Okay. And this assumption says you love your friends and I'm getting it for the second time. And that is true. I love my friends so much. That is true. That is extremely true. And this assumption says you fully support all your friends in everything they do. And that is true. If you are my friend and you have something happening, I'm there. I am very supportive. I love supporting my friends, guys. There's nothing better than watching your friends succeed in something that they love. So that is true. I do love supporting my friends. Also, I'm actually trying to get through these assumptions because I realized that the lighting in the room is changing. And I know from the first video, I had a little shadow. So guys, if I do have a shadow in this video, I'd like to apologize because that's not what I am aiming for. I would have shot this video earlier, but I couldn't because my brother and his friends were here and they were making a noise and they were helping my mom. So I couldn't really shoot. So if you see a shadow or if the lighting is not as great as it's supposed to be, I sincerely, sincerely apologize for that. This assumption says you're super funny and that's correct. Nah. <laughs> I am not super funny, maybe funny a little bit, but I don't think I am super funny. Also, can I just say the Tano in real life and the Tano on social media are completely, completely different, okay? On social media, I am able to make people laugh, but I feel like if I said the same things I said on social media, they probably wouldn't laugh as much as they do okay sometimes i'll be meeting people live and they're just like when i'm on facebook you're so different and i'm just like yeah i really am different because on facebook yeah pop instagram yeah pop twitter yeah pop real life i'm very calm maybe that's why people think i'm mean 
because I'm very calm. Maybe they expect to see the social media tando and they're not really getting that. So yeah, that actually makes sense. But anyway, yeah, I'm not super funny. I wish I was though. <laughs> This assumption says you're a people's person and that is true. I am a people's person, especially, especially once I get to know you. I'm very accommodating, guys. I am very, very accommodating. I believe in being a people's person so much, especially because I feel like my dad and my mom they are people's persons so i've seen them interact with people and growing up i've always wanted to be like that you know um they didn't raise me any other way so i am a people's person yes i am i definitely am this assumption says you love your dad more than your mom loki and that is false <laughs> that is false <laughs> that is so false i love my parents both equally they play different roles in my life okay my mom is my best friend my dad is my best friend and they are my best friends differently okay my mom is a different type of best friend and my dad is a different type of best friend i love them both equally hence i, I actually said earlier that my dad will think that i am a mommy's girl but i am a daddy's girl so i love my parents both equally guys i don't love my dad more than my mom i don't and my mom would be so offended for somebody assuming that <gasps> she would be so offended but that is not true i love my parents both equally okay i hope that is convincing to you <laughs> And then this assumption says you would marry for love and not money. That is 100% true because, guys, I love love. I love love and it will never get beyond love, okay? Love for me is enough to marry you. Yes, money is important and yes, I love money, but I would never marry for money. I would marry for love instead, which is crazy because this was a topic between my friends and I a few weeks ago and they were laughing at me for saying that I would marry for love, but th that is true. I would marry for love. I love love so much and I wish God could just bless me with love. Okay, I, oh, I love love guys. I love love. And then this one says, I thought we as a jailer and still kind of do. I use jelly. I use jelly and I will never wake up and use jailer, guys. I'm such a people's person and I don't, <laughs> you know, through all the assumptions of I thought you were being uh, not easily accessible. Everybody was saying they thought, they thought, they thought. Now this last assumption says, I thought we are Zijela and I still kind of do. You are the first person. <laughs> and you know what? Wrong. Wrong for that. You are you, you are wrong for that. Okay? Because why hasn't your opinion on me changed? And I hope that you and I can meet someday. I hope that I can change that view that you have of me. Because Mina... I use jail and I will never wake up in jail. I will never. It's not in me and it will never be in me. Anyway, guys, let me just wrap this up quickly. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to comment and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for everybody who interacted, everybody who came up with assumptions. I thank you a lot. And again, I thank you for my 100 subscribers drivers guys thank you so so much and until next time bye